I don't hate Dean. I mean, he's a total knob. I mean, I know that. <laughs> but he's your knob now, but... I mean, we love that line. The knob. <laughs> Tori Spelling sits down with her husband's ex-wife, Mary Jo Justus, tomorrow night on Lifetime's True Tori. Let me start with you, Mary Jo. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs> I, I actually thought it was a joke. I, I thought that I was being punked. But, you know, it was true. In Mary Jo's book, Divorce Sucks, she explains that the man in the middle, Dean, encouraged the discussion. And I think the best quote was, when they got married, he said, this is the best wife I've ever married. He came back from his golf game and he seemed a bit tense and I thought, you know, maybe he had a bad score or something. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but my intuition said something was a bit off and, and I said, you know, what's up? You've been acting weird the last couple of days. And I said, have you, have you met somebody? And he said, yeah. I mean, what was the biggest emotion you were going through? Shock. Okay. Because I found out that my, you know, and, and my marriage was ending in the National Enquirer, which is not really how you want to find out about it. He said, um, she's my soulmate. Ew. And uh, <laughs> I know when, God, when the, somebody says that word, you're just like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she loves me unconditionally. And I said, unconditionally, you've known her three weeks. What conditions could those possibly be? And um, then, then he left, and this whole crazy ride started for me. It was just insane. It's been insane. Confident, beautiful, and the opposite of a bitter divorcee, Mary Jo has moved on in a very positive way. How did you find out? I found out, well, of course I called you first, sure. but um, I found out, honestly, and I, I've said this quite a few times, in a Palm Springs hotel room, holding my newly adopted daughter in a bikini. See, I need some therapy. Why are you um, Hi, Hi, Tori, how are you? Hi, nice to see you. Every time I see her, it never gets easier. It's always like the first time. Don't you turn 50 this year? Are you no, 50? 48. 48, getting you, up there. You know what I found, actually, that was really cool that what? I should give you? Because I'm a nice person. Geritol? Geritol. Maybe some Metamucil. Um, no, I found a great picture of you and your dad. A fantastic picture of you Which and your one? father from the wedding, your first wedding. There's a fantastic picture. <laughs> I am going to meet Mary Jo, Dean's ex. I thought I was a good wife and a great mother. I really was giving it um, everything I could, you know, to support him and stuff. I created a, a great home, um, great friends, great family. When this happened with a girl in Canada, Emily, I didn't blame Emily. I blamed her for going to the press because I thought that was tactless. You know, I think, I Tori, truthfully, because you're a smart girl, like you are. Everybody, it's, you, you're both complicit in it. And you just, you own it. You should own it. Because you're, you're smart, you're strong. Like, empower yourself. You, listen, you can't help who you fall in love with. I agree. But every choice has a consequence. Yeah. It's not all Dean's fault. It's like 50-50. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't think your mom would ever sit down and say, oh, go after a married man. It's a great opportunity for you. You wouldn't say it to Stella. I actually brought you this letter that I want you to read that he wrote me just before he met you. Because sometimes I think you must think that I'm crazy, that I was married to this person and we must have had this horrible marriage and we came down and, and you know, it was over like that and I was just complicit in it. I have never thought that. And, and I wasn't. There was a life and a reality prior so I think that when he did his interview, he said something along the lines of, and we're all going to a higher power here for the truth, that he wrote that letter to me like two or three years ago, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Right? Well, I brought you a little gift. Well, Mary Jo. I know. This is 60 Minutes. I'm sorry. It's the letter. I, it's the letter. Give me the letter. What do you mean? Come on. Give me the letter. Give me the letter. The letter. <laughs> what was that? No planting distractions. Let me Okay, just it. charge me for that. Here is the letter. And I'm going to explain. I'm taking control here. You okay? sure are. I, mean, I am so sick of this. Kitty, you go that I, way. Come on. The clip. I mean, enough with you two. You this go is, around this okay. way. Give this, it. This is the truth. You Get the letter, the letter, Billy. Give me the letter, Eustace. <laughs> Hang tight. True Terry airs tomorrow at 9 on Lifetime. Mary Jo is sticking around because we're going to cook old. some healthy, it's delicious recipes. That's ahead. I got to get the letter. What's the date? What? 15.